Hey, Bedros here, and I want to talk to you about time management, productivity, and how you can get a lot more shit done. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, specifically the Get Shit Done video, you know it's a pretty popular one, and apparently it struck a nerve with a lot of people, in a good way, and I'm happy for that. But I want to talk to you more about really getting shit done by way of how should your day look every day. We're not going to talk about the, the sabotage, the odd, weird association that you might have with money and all the reasons why you're not getting shit done. All that is in that first video and you ought to watch it. And I believe there's going to be a link to it at the bottom of this uh, video in the description box. But what I want to talk to you about is if you truly are ready to get shit done, like if you are ready to get productive, if you're ready to make more money, you want to improve your lifestyle, you want to improve your health, how do you do it? Look, we all have 24 hours in a day. And the fact of the matter is, most of us get a lot more done than the rest of you. And there's a reason for that. So I'm going to share those secrets with you. And it's up to you whether you do anything about it or you could just keep hanging out on Facebook, watching the next YouTube video, reading the next uh, uh, Huffington Post instead of getting shit done. And in the meantime, time's going to tick by. And before you know it, you're a year older and you're further away from your goals than you ever were. Now, I hope that's not going to be you. So I want to draw that pain out for you very specifically so that you know that if you do nothing and you just sit on the bleachers instead of get off your ass and get into the field and play ball, that a year from now, you're going to be further away from your goals. Let's look at this. You want to grow your business. You want a better life. You want to spend time with your family. Maybe you have weight to lose. Maybe you want to make more money. Maybe you want to travel the world. Whatever it is, there's certain things you need to do to get there, right? And for you to get there, it usually involves being productive. Now, most people tell me, I don't have time. I think that's the biggest lie ever. Today, with the technology that we have, you should have more time, not less time. There's a lot more technology that can help you track the progress that you're making. So when it comes to productivity, what do we do? Well, thing number one is you're going to find your magic time. My good friend Craig Ballantyne talks about your magic time and what it is. Your magic time are those two to three hours of the morning, some people, maybe you, in the evening or middle afternoon, where you're most creative, where you have the most energy and you're most likely to get the most things done. That's when you want to power down everything around you that's insignificant and dive into your to-do list. You got to carve out your magic time. That's thing number one. For me, it's in the mornings, typically between 7 a.m. Not typically, actually, specifically between 7 a.m. and about 10 a.m., right? That's when I get a lot of things done and move my business, my life, my ambitions ahead. Then I can go work out, I can come to my office and hang out, I can do whatever I want and I don't feel the pressure of the day bearing down on me. So now that you know when your magic time is, what is thing number two? You've got to work off a list and a list has to be made the night before. Because if you think you're going to wake up and all of a sudden jot down a list of four or five things you need to do today so you can move your business, your life, your wealth, your, your health forward, it's not going to happen. You got to do it the night before. So you got to make that list the night before. Now, for me, I'll typically put anywhere from four to six things on my list. It could be as simple as filming this video for you. It could be as big as going on a lunch meeting for the next two hours and talking to someone and working out a big deal. It could be writing sales copy, going shopping. But anything that I do is going to be on my list. And if it requires that I have to end up on the phone with four people that day, I'm going to do the next thing, which is batch process. And that's a number one mistake that a lot of people make. Think about that. If I have six things on my list of things to do, and three of those six things are phone calls where I need to talk to Rob and Mike and Bob, shouldn't I just batch process and do those three phone calls back to back? Your mind operates better that way. But instead, most people will do one thing and then they'll call Bob, and they'll do another thing and they'll call Rob, and they'll do another thing and they'll call Mike. That's a very inefficient way of operating, right? Think about that. Now, when you have a list and you write your list of things you're going to do tomorrow, the night before, guess what you're going to write at the very top of that list? Guess what the number one thing is going to be? You ready for this? It's going to be the hardest thing and the most scariest thing that you don't want to do. So if there's six things on your list, and if one of those things are like, it's the hardest thing that you're not looking forward to, make that number one on your list. Get it done because now you're not going to procrastinate and put off the rest of your list. See, psychologically, we have this hang up with doing the hard things. And so we'll find any reason to procrastinate, waste time, and do busy work, right? Not productive work, but busy work, just so we never get to that hard thing. So why don't you put the hardest thing first on your list? Pretty simple, right? 
They don't teach you that in college. So what else can you do? Those are the three big tips that I can give you. There's one other thing you can do. And the fourth tip is learn to say no more often. Now, if you're an idea person, if you're an entrepreneur, if you have big dreams and big visions, and if you're watching this video, you probably are an idea person. The problem with people like us is that we can go down a rabbit hole of ideas and never get any one thing done, right? Maybe you've done that. You've got all these half-baked ideas. They all sound good. It's the next money-making idea. It's gonna save society, but you never get it done and you never put it out there. Well, you gotta learn to say no more often to your ideas, to other people's ideas. Think about this. There's nothing worse than someone coming up to you and saying, you know what you should do because you'd be good at? You should do X, Y, and Z. I remember a long time ago seeing a really tall kid in the gym and he was real gangly. He was probably 13, 14 years old. Now the gym has a built-in basketball court and all these kids are playing basketball. And this super tall kid, I mean, he was probably 14 years old and like 6'2", 6'3", and everybody would walk up to him and say, hey kid, you know, you'd be good at basketball. You should be in there playing basketball. I often wonder to myself, whatever happened to that kid? You can tell that people would walk up to that kid and encourage him to play basketball simply because he was tall. Who knows if he has any hand-eye coordination? Who knows if he's got any speed? Who knows if he's got the ability to jump? Nobody cares. But if all these people give him the wrong idea, and if he decided to go with that wrong idea, he's probably suffering through life right now, doing something he doesn't want to do because enough people went up to him and said, you know what, kid, you're tall, so you should go play basketball because you'd be good at it. When in reality, maybe he'd be an amazing attorney. Maybe he'd be a really specific robotic surgeon. Maybe he'd be the next scholar. So oftentimes, if people come to you and tell you, hey, you know what you should do? You should do X, Y, and Z. If you have a game plan and you're being productive and you're using your time wisely, you're gonna learn to say no. Say no to others and say no to the idea fairy that comes to you until project one is done. Once your project is done, it's out on the market, it's helping people, it's making you money, it's changing lives, then it's okay to entertain any ideas that the idea fairy brings to you. Does that make sense? I hope this makes you a lot more productive. I hope this teaches you some discipline and time management. I wish this was something that I would have uh, learned, gosh, 15 years ago, because it's only been the last five years that I've been disciplined in time management and productivity. And I gotta tell you, my life's completely changed. I have less stress, I have more time on my calendar, and I have more businesses under my belt, I'm more profitable, and I have a happier life simply because I know how to manage my time, my energy, and my resources. I hope this works for you, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get you those answers right away. See ya.